Hi, I'm Greta. And I'm Scott. And we're the board game couple, turning game night into date night. So, first off, I think we owe you an apology. It's been a few weeks since we've had a video. And I have to admit, it's kind of my fault. I decided to take yoga teacher training, and I thought I could do it all. And as usual, when I think that, I was wrong. So we're here now. I've graduated. I'm a yoga teacher. Yay. And Board Game Couple is back, and we won't let you down this time. So today, we're here to talk about a game we promised we'd talk about a few weeks ago. It's a martial arts-themed dice roller called Ninja Dice. Ninja Dice is a competitive dice rolling game where you act as ninjas, trying to sneak through various houses in order to steal gold and treasure. When you roll, your opponent sets a goal for you by rolling what are known as the house dice. They have different symbols on them, which will set different objectives. You have uh, residents, guards, and locked doors. Whatever you roll, there is a symbol on the dice that you will roll that counteracts it. These are known as the skill dice. The skill dice will counter, so a pick will get you through a lock, and you can either fight or sneak through the guards or residents that are in the building. It's very, very cool, and the more successes you are, the more successful you are in getting past these dice, the better off you are going to be and the more gold you get. The good thing about this game, though, is while the other player is taking their turn, you are not just sitting idly by watching it happen. You are rolling what's called threat dice. These allow you to steal gold from the other player. <laughs> and if you roll four hourglasses, their turn is over, no matter what is happening currently in the room. Which is kind of a fun mechanism. You never know when the turn is going to end, and it means that the player who is actually playing the room really needs to make some quick decisions about if they want to proceed or just take what they have at the moment. If those four hourglasses come up, you're toast. There's also an expansion available with these room cards that turn just kind of the generic room 47B with the random dice that came up into specific locations like uh, a room up on a mountain or a building with a moat. And those will affect the dice. They most of the time come with a set goal already in, so there are more guards in this building. And they may even have rules like you have to swim through the moat so you have one less die. It really adds a really cool additional layer to the game. It makes it a lot more fun. Personally, I think it should just come with the straight game. So if you do end up buying this game, we really recommend buying the expansion. So, Scott, what do you think of this game? Do well, you like it? I dig this game a lot. It He's is so a excited he interrupted me. I know. Uh, well, we're out of practice. <laughs> This is a really fun game to sit across the table. Like like we mentioned with the threat dice, it is super cool to still be doing something. Because a lot of games, a lot of different games can become two players playing solitaire. And this, you don't have a moment of inactivity. You're still sitting there watching and rolling. I also like, uh, on some of the dice, we have this line symbol. And that line is important because this symbol will affect anything that's on this symbol, the side of the line. So where the dice land on the table is important. Uh, it's super cool. It's a cool mechanism to kind of figure everything out and play. Uh, I really, really dig this game. I also really dig this game. Two thumbs up from us. One of the things I really like about this game is that although it's not co-op and you are competing, you're still rooting for the other player when they're going through the room. There's never really a moment when you're kind of mad that they take your gold, and there's never really a moment when you're kind of mad that they succeed, because it's like so victorious when you can actually get through all the traps. So that's really fun about this game. It's very, you know, lighthearted in that way. One of the other things I really like about this game is how cute the box is. I mean, come on. It's a really great game to travel with. It's so small. One of the things, though, we should mention about this game is that it's really good if you're short on time, but not good if you're looking to spill, like, an hour or two. It's like a quick 10-15 minute game, and even if you start to play it over and over again, there definitely is a limit to how, you know, how fun it can be. So make sure you use this as a palate cleanser, or maybe bring it to the beach, you're on an airplane, stuff like that. And another thing that I 
don't like about this game, I guess, is that I feel like it really works better for two players than multiple players. Although the rules do scale the game out to work for multiple players. For example, with these threat dice, let's say there are more than two players. Basically, each player who's not in the room will roll one of these dice. So you still have something to do. If I'm going to be honest, I don't really feel like it works as well. It definitely is much more fast-paced, and you feel more involved when there's just two of you. One minor complaint or nitpick is that this threat die with the blue ink is kind of the same color ink as the skill dice. So when you're throwing this one, it can be kind of hard to tell which is the threat die and which is the skill die. It always takes a minute to find it, and we usually wind up saving that one for last. But that's just something that we found was inconvenient. It definitely is not ruining the fun of the game. All right, Scott, does this get a date night or a fight night? Please? Date night! It's so much fun. I love being a ninja. What about you? I'm going to go with date night as well. Like I said, it's really hard to fight during this game. You just feel very fun. You feel very excited. That's my type of game. If you liked this video, please make sure to click like. And if you want to see more, make sure you click subscribe so that next time you can see us talk about... <gasps> Mwah! <laughs>